okay. <laughs> uh, with Big Sur coming out today on, on a Mac, uh, are we prepared with notes for that? Okay. Yeah, so uh, thanks, thanks for raising that. Uh, we have uh, a live tech note which is getting updated shortly. Uh, but to summarize, uh, 1001 FP6 IF1 is out in the field right now. Okay. Uh, that particular release uh, is the minimum release you need for Big Sur. So again, 1001 FP6 IF1. Okay. IF1. Um, okay. Thank you. And then 1101 FP2 is the next release vehicle for Big Sur for the 11 no code stream. And that is uh, expected shortly. So we are trying to get that out uh, uh, by end of the month, uh, but it's getting out shortly. Okay, and I could, uh, for the IF1, can find it on FlexNet or where? Yes, it's available on FlexNet. Okay, thank you very much. You're welcome. Note is live right now, and I'm going to I'll post the uh, URL to the tech note in the chat. By the way, thank you. Okay, I think Rick Caribio has. A question in the chat. Uh, can you share plans for future UI enhancements? Uh, so Rick, I don't know whether you were in the coffee room for notes today, uh, yesterday or day before, uh, but I walked through all the UI enhancements which are in V12. Uh, but if you're looking for a future beyond V12, uh, so we, we are developing a roadmap for that, uh, for, for beyond V12. Uh, but for V12, uh, uh, there are quite a few UI enhancements. Um, the prominent one is uh, updating the workspace uh, to make it more user-friendly. Uh, and also we have given UI updates to calendar forms and to do forms in V12. Uh, and there's a beta coming up, as you all know, in January. So I'm looking forward to all of you trying out the V12 uh, notes beta, which will list uh, all the UI enhancements which are there. And I'm trying to figure out how I can share my factory to deck to everybody uh so i'll work with uh the conference managers to figure out how to release that deck uh but that deck has all the enhancements which are in v12 yes and andrew maybe you can make ram as the do you want to present it right now ram so maybe you can make him as the presenter to share do you want to go through the updates that you have in the coffee room, Ram? Sure. Yeah. So we can have a peek uh, about the features that we're going to have uh, for V12. And apart from the workspace enhancement uh, from what Ram just mentioned, we also make some UI enhancement for the search UI. So that is something that great to share. Okay. All right. Uh, anything uh, in this deck is subject to change as usual. So uh, the notes V12 themes basically are um, user interface productivity improvements, uh, stay competitive in the marketplace. And we have put some energy also in performance to improve the responsiveness of the client. So UI improvements, um, apart from uh, updating the branding icon. So there will be new branding icons for notes and other products. So when you install notes, you're going to see a new shortcut icon for V12. 
as well as the splash screens have been updated. Uh, and this is the calendar form which I was referring to. So the uh, week 12 calendar form has been updated. Uh, so one of the feedback we got in V11 was that uh, occasionally there is a horizontal scroll bar being shown uh, to get to the recipient list in V11, which people didn't like. So in V12, there's no more a horizontal scroll bar needed, no matter what the resolution of the devices are, as well as the size of the client. So it automatically adjusts itself based on the real estate. Uh, to do also has been given a facelift and it is now consistent with calendar. Um, so this did not get a facelift in V11. So in V12, we, uh, to do forms and views have been updated. As I was mentioning, our uh, workspace. So one of the, so we have invested a lot of money and uh, energy in workspace over the past two releases. Uh, but one of the feedback we keep getting is that the uh, tabs in workspace don't scale well if you have hundreds of 20, 20s or 30s of tabs and they become very small and it's hard to navigate across those tabs. So what we are doing in V12 is moving away from tabs and providing a navigator, which is consistent with other uh, notes applications and it is a standard way to use it so people would know how to use them and it scales better so now you can have a number of uh, tabs uh, and it scrolls down and you can drag and drop uh, easily between uh, navigator nodes okay to stay competitive uh, we are also adding some mail features uh, in v12 so one of the popular ones based upon the factory tour feedback is uh, a lot of people like this new feature. So uh, in shared in mail files, so if you have a shared mail database, uh, many people have access to that mail file. So one of the frequent uh, requests we have been hearing for a while is that um, people should within that mail file be able to send email or provide responses on other people's behalf so that capability has been added now in v12 where now the from field is now a link in v12 you can click on this from link and then it will give, give you a list of from addresses you can use um, who are part of the acl of this mail file in order to make it more secure, uh, we have made sure that there is a workflow where the other person has to actually give you permission to do this. So at the first time when you launch, this list will be empty, but as you request access, they will get added to this list and you can keep, um, send emails on their behalf. The same concept has been added now to your own personal mail file as well in v12 so your own personal mail file the from is now a link and you can click on the from and you can get the choices of uh, email address based on the directory info we have now this capability today exists in notes uh, people may not know about it but you can use different location settings and you can use those locations to say which um from address you want to use but then you it's very cumbersome you have to switch locations to do this work so now in v12 it's a one click uh ui to change your form uh as you recollect in 1101 we uh combined swift file as part of the 1101 notes install so you no longer have to do an add-on install of swift file uh, which has taken a lot of traction now. A lot of people are started to use Swift file, which provides you the capability. Thing about it too is on this. If you're the owner of the meeting on the settings dialog, uh, you do have the ability to to restrict whether guests can whether guests can join. Can you? We have this on this on this uh, on the settings menu too. Um, is that a crosstalk here? Okay, thanks. Uh, so Swift file lets you. Um, 
move our emails to a specific folder very quickly because it remembers your previous actions and recommends folder suggestions to put the emails on so now that capability is now added into the move to folder dialog also so a lot of users use the move to folder dialog to actually move emails to folders so we have added that capability here so now you have a one click action to move an email into a folder uh, we have improved the import experience to notes so if you now import uh, excel or word documents and if they have embedded charts in them uh, it will now show into the notes document with high fidelity no fidelity loss it will show exactly how it is and on top of that we have added uh, a new drop down a new menu choice in the drop down for import so now we have added a uh, pptx files as a choice so now you can import an entire pptx file into a notes document and it will import all the slides uh, with high fidelity Uh, the other uh, feature we have added in v12 is called copy formatting which is very similar to uh, format painter in microsoft word uh, so the idea here is that you can uh, select uh, a word or a sentence in in a notes document and uh, apply the format uh, the copy formatting brush if you do that then whatever settings and font settings and styles you have on that word or sentence now you can apply uh, on other parts of the document with one click so you can keep on applying them and it will apply those same settings and styles onto the other part of the document um, so this way you can cover up the entire document areas wherever you want with consistent styles Okay, so the other area we have uh, invested in is search. So note search has been uh, a pain point where um, we, have, we have been uh, getting constant uh, requests to improve the usability of note search. Uh, and a lot of customers have uh, taken into third party products to uh, improve search in notes. Uh, so what we have done in v12 is actually uh, improve natively the UI for node search. So uh, there is a search center at the top in nodes, uh, which in v11 is at the top right corner. Uh, in v12, uh, we have made that very prominent. So it takes uh, more real estate on the top bar so that people's attention is drawn to it. And then we have added uh, search assistance. So as soon as you click on that text field, uh, you will get a drop down where it will show you your search history. And with one click, you can just go and search any re repeat your recent search. Or you can in one click say, I want to search in any of my recent notes applications by just one click uh, it will change this drop down to that area and uh, you can use the notes application to search your um, search documents also as soon as you start typing uh, you will get another drop down which is uh, to show if any people names or subject names match what you have typed so this way with just one click you can get to uh, a search query and the results are shown in the application you have selected here. So you can select either your mail file or your any of your notes applications and these assistance will be available in all those contexts. Uh, this dropdown will also be available inside the a search in view bar so when you go into inside a notes application and say search this view that bar will also have the same uh, drop downs and we have also given a facelift to the advanced section of the search bar so it looks much cleaner and modern OK, 
okay uh the next is calendar so we have given uh, some attention to calendar as well in v12 so in v10 we added this capability called invite others which is a very popular feature now where uh, an invitee can request uh, other uh, people to be added to a particular meeting uh, but that invite others button in v10 only shows up on meetings which are chaired by a notes user uh, in v12 now if uh, an outlook chair uh, sends a meeting to notes invitees then those notes invitees will also now see a invite others button and this works very similarly where uh, they can request uh, other people to be added and it goes back to the outlook chair so that the new invitees will continue to get reschedules and updates uh, improved rendering of team invites so as this pandemic became more wider widespread a uh, lot of uh, teams became very popular for online meetings and what we noticed is that uh, invites coming from Microsoft Teams uh, does not render well inside uh, uh, notes and it is harder to join those meetings through notes. So in V12, we have made that work better. So the Microsoft Teams meeting invites look accurate and rendered correctly. So now, you can just click on the join and immediately join the Teams meetings. Uh, apart from all that, uh, we have also made uh, good prog improvements in install area um, so that deployments are much more easier for nodes. So the first thing we have added is uh, by default, uh, when you download the V12 notes kits, uh, dictionaries, language dictionaries are already part of it. So you don't have to separately install them. And for uh, English notes kits, the language dictionaries are part of it, but they are not checked by default in the install panel. You have to manually check it if you want it, but you don't have to download it separately. For the language notes kits, the language dictionaries are included by default as well as they are checked by default so by default uh, they will be in installed automatically when you install the language kit uh, i'm calling out windows here because for mac uh, starting from 1101 fp1 we already did this because they are notarized kits uh, we cannot support add-ons for notarized kits on mac so 1101 fp1 already installs our language dictionaries by default so we have extended that for windows as well in v12 and the change we have done for v12 mac is that uh, we are making use of native dictionaries which are available on catalina and big sur uh, they are much more richer in terms of language support than notes dictionaries so they are the default which v12 client will use but you still have an option to go back to notes dictionaries if you still want them um, uh, but by default native dictionaries will be used on the mac client the second uh, improvement we have done for install is what we call as a cascaded installer so uh, today when you want to install a mui language kit uh you have to first install the english and then download the mui kit which you want and install that separately uh but in v12 we are combining both so we are providing you a cascaded installer which will include the mui kit along with the english installer as one install which you can download and install uh, third, uh, we have as this is our ongoing mantra where we try to reduce the uh, footprint of the install kit. Um, so we are doing that again in V12. So we have removed uh, unused Microsoft libraries which we were packaging up. 
and we are also removing unused templates from the client kit which are not really client side templates they shouldn't be there so they are getting removed so this is saving us about 45 megabytes from the entire kit um the other big theme as i said at the beginning is performance uh, so we have put a lot of energy on making nodes uh, perform well so the first one we have done is uh, improve performance on slow networks so if you are traveling and you're going into a hotel with a vpn and the network is very slow uh, v12 nodes clients will automatically detect slow bandwidth networks and tune the replication of uh, emails accordingly. So if, if it detects that you are on a slow network, it will delay the replication of attachments and replicate the rest of the emails first and then download the attachment uh, on demand. And then it will restore back to the regular behavior if it detects that you are back on a fast network. So uh, there's no longer the user need to check any preference. This is now automatic. The second improvement we have done is, um, so in V11 uh, on Windows, we uh, early detect no network detection and timeout pretty immediately. Uh, but now in V12, we have added that capability for Mac as well. So that on Mac, um, as soon as it detects that you don't have a network, it will immediately timeout. The third uh, improvement we have done is uh, performance during startup. So we, we have been constantly hearing about a need for Node's client to be snappier. Uh, so in V12, uh, as soon as you double click on the shortcut uh, on the desktop, uh, the time it takes to get to mail is 20% faster in V12. Also, we are now focusing on overall client performance improvements. So a couple of things we have improved is opening an email. So when you try to open an email uh, on server or local replicas, uh, it is now 10% faster in V12. Uh, same thing with switch folders. So when you switch between folders in, in the mail file, it is 10% faster uh, on V12. So we are looking at such actions which are commonly used and making them faster in V12. Uh, so we have also some general other improvements. Um, so one of them is override support for default signatures. So what this means is that uh, in V10, we added this capability of having separate signatures for a uh, new email and versus reply and forward. So you can have two separate signatures for a new message, a separate signature and a reply and forward signature. Uh, now we got feedback that that is great and people love that uh, feature, uh, but they would like to override it on certain emails. So, so the idea here is that on a certain email now in V12, you can override the default preference and choose a different signature than what the preference says. Uh, the second improvement, this one I really like, is the improved behavior on notes tabs. So when in, in V11 or less, if, if your client crashes for, un, for an unfortunate reason, or you killed the client from the task manager uh, abnormally, and then you try to restart the client, uh, the tabs will be restored, but they won't be functional. So many of the tabs will just be blank. Uh, it won't do anything. Uh, so with V12 now, um, in those situations, when you restart the client, all the tabs which you had before the crash will be restored and they will all be functional. Uh, the third improvement we have done is around notes federated login. Uh, so if you have set up notes for SAML usage in V10 or V11, 
and now if you upgrade to v12 uh you won't see any prompts so it will be a transparent my upgrade to v12 unlike in v11 where if you upgrade from v10 to v11 with nfl enabled the end user would get prompts to enter uh, credentials and security info which they don't even know what that means uh, and it was pretty cumbersome for um, upgrades to and preserve the nfl settings so with v12 all that is transparent and it automatically upgrades you so these are the overall uh, features and improvements. Um, on top of this, uh, you must have heard that we are doing a language support of uh, the group one and group two languages, which will be part of V12 release. That is the goal. Uh, the group three list, uh, it's still being finalized, but that may not make it to 12.0, most likely. Uh, after 12. Okay, so that was notes. Uh, let me pause here before I go to designer slash X pages to see if there are any questions. There are a couple of questions, Ram, in the, in the chat. One was on the format pater. Will that also be available in designer client? Uh, no, that's a good question. Currently, it's not available, uh, but we can look into making it available because it should be very similar. So good, good question. Yeah, we'll try to look into that. And Bill, you had a question. Um, I think it was about the from, the alternate from. He was asking where that list was populated from. Right. So if you are in your uh, shared mail file, that list comes from the ACL list. Uh, but if you are from, if you are in your own personal mail file, then that list comes from the directory, from the email addresses shown in the directory for that person. Okay, let me go through the chat here to see. Yeah, uh, I have a question. Yeah. Uh, I was just wondering, you know, uh, I, I use both Out Outlook and Notes. And in Outlook, I can, you know, connect to any mail account, Gmail, uh, Exchange, Office 365, even Domino via ActiveSync. Uh, is this something that, I, I, it doesn't sound to me like this is something that would be possible in Notes version 12. Is that something you might look into so that, that you can use other types of mail accounts or would that be too difficult with the uh, with how the Domino server works? And also another thing in, in Outlook is that all the different mail accounts that I have access to, they are all in one uh, one. the same UI. I don't have to change to another database. So to, to speak to 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 see my private email and to see my my work email they're all in the left side menu in notes if i have several email applications email databases with email i have to you know jump between them i, I can't access the in, in, in inbox from the same menu is that something you are looking into yeah good good questions um so uh Providing access to other email accounts within the notes frame sets uh, is something in our backlog, uh, but not very high enough. Uh, so, and, and I, I don't think I've seen it in AHA as well, but uh, if it is, then it, it needs to get more votes. But uh, we have heard of it a few times, but it is uh, low in our backlog, but it is in our backlog. And your second point about showing it in separate tabs. Uh, so if we, if the backlog item to show other email accounts does get high enough that we actually start doing it, 
then the way we will do it is have a universal navigator um, where in one universal navigator you have a section for each mail account rather than going into separate tabs so that's how we will build it if we end up doing that work hope that answered your question okay thank you uh other than that uh, i think the ui improvements look uh, look really really good oh thank you yeah so thank um, you for the question oh sorry barry yeah, i was just going to say remember we're going to have a beta coming up as well so you'll be able to actually download the code see that and give us the feedback so you know we know you won't be shy especially on the ui side yep so let me quickly do a designer and then we can open up again the questions um so designer also has got good attention for v12 um so one of the big things which you all like is this uh capability to use bootstrap 4. so as you all know in uh, v11 and less we only support bootstrap 3. Uh, can you share your screen again Ron? oh sorry yeah there you go um so uh, in v12 we are now adding bootstrap 4 into the uh, designer um, menu items so now if you start doing X page uh, development, you will have Bootstrap 4 as a choice as well. Uh, we are not removing Bootstrap 3 yet because the way Bootstrap 4 works is that you have to actually go and modify your existing X page app to be compatible to Bootstrap 4. So we need to give our customer base enough time to move up to Bootstrap 4. And once that happens, we will be removing Bootstrap 3 from the choice list. Uh, but for V12, we are keeping both uh, Bootstrap 3 and Bootstrap 4. Uh, the other set of improvements we have done is to make our notes apps behave better on mobile devices or narrow real estate devices. Uh, so one of the things we have added uh, in Designer is this new checkbox mobile clients to hide an entire design element from. So you can say uh, for this application, hide, hide this whole design element if this is getting rendered on a mobile client. Uh, we have also added uh, new ad commands um, to support mobile devices. Uh, so it's called resolution height and resolution width. So now uh, using these two commands at runtime an application can get the current resolution width and height and write business logic to see how your form or view should render based on this resolution. Uh, we have also added an on-size event um, in Designer to make use of these ad commands like resolution width and resolution height. And we have added another command called relayout window. So with these three combinations, what you can do is you can uh, write code to say, if my resolution width is this and height is less than this, then do the relay out and hide these design elements from mobile. It is one logic you can do. That way your view and forms look much cleaner on mobile devices. Uh, the other thing we are doing with designer is making the notes views uh, render better on mobile devices. So you can have a narrow view option where multiple columns can be rendered in one flat view like this with different styles. So each column can have different styles and settings. So uh, so in these rows, each, each row has multiple columns in them. Uh, this way you can render this on uh, a mobile view correctly and also the, the these attributes and feature set is also applicable on your regular desktop so you can actually have a preview on the right for notes core views and have a narrow view on the left um, and same thing can be applied for mobile as well 
and only show the view and not the preview. So, so it benefits both desktop and, and mobile devices. And these styles and settings are inherited from the column attribute. So in designer, you can now go and set for individual column what the style setting should be uh, if it is shown on the arrow view. And it will use those attributes to render this view. Okay, so that is the designer set. Uh, and this, these two slides are the overall summary of where we are. So pretty much whatever I covered today for both notes and designer and X pages, they are all going to be available in January beta, all of them. So actually most of the stuff is already working. So, um, so all these are yes, in the sense that they will all be in the beta. Uh, and it will also have the latest embedded same time release of 11.5 into Notes V12. So whatever has been released in 11.5 will be part of uh, Notes V12. Okay, yeah, with that, I think we covered everything. Yeah, got a couple minutes left for yeah, there is a question about the Windows 64 support. Do you want to answer that, Ram? Oh, sure. Okay, so um, Windows 64-bit support. So basically, you all know that Mac is, Notes Mac is a 64-bit client, but Notes Windows right now is a 32-bit client. And uh, we are trying to get Notes Windows also to become 64-bit as well, to support 64-bit as well. Uh, but uh, it's it's a slower process because we need to get the entire community adopted with their own extensions be compatible to 64-bit because any extension DLLs you all have need to be rebuilt for 64-bit before they can work on a Notes 64-bit client. So what we are planning to do is release a Notes basic 64-bit beta client first because that's where the real issues are. The Java side is easier. It's, it's a basic client, which is the problem where we need to get the entire ecosystem ready for it. Uh, so that's what we are planning to do is get a beta out so that you all can try to get your extensions ready for it. And then we will go into prime time uh, doing a go GA release of the entire Notes 64-bit client. Keep in mind, 32-bit will continue to work. This is just another release of 64-bit client for customers who want to adopt to 64-bit. Uh, the next, can we put Java debugging for Java? Like, yes, this is something we are looking at. So there are some sporadic performance improvements we have done in V12 based on customer situations uh, over the past few months. So that will be part of the beta. You can see, you will see an improved performance uh, for Java debugging, uh, but that is something we are also looking into to improve. Yes. Okay, so maybe let's uh, answer one more question because we are at the top of the hour. Um, so the last uh, the question is: Does the new client tape format remove the thirty two tape limit of the current client? Yes. So uh, the V twelve client has. Uh, if you're talking about the tabs at, for opening emails or opening documents or opening views, uh, the V12 client has no limit. Hope that, hope that is well received. So we have tested it with 100 tabs and no issues. Okay, great. So uh, thanks, Ram, for the good presentation. And then, all right, Andrew, I think uh, we are running to the top of the hour, right? Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thanks for participating.